السلام علیکم آئی ڈاکٹر محمد اکرم ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ویسٹرن میڈیسن گورنمنٹ کالج یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد گلائکوجن میٹابولزم گلائکوجن از پریزنٹ ان لیور اینڈ مسلس اٹ از اے برانچ چینج ہوموپولیسیکرائڈس میڈ ایکسکلوسولی آف گلوکوز ریزیڈیوز دا پرائمری گلائکوزائڈک بانڈ از این الفا ون فور لنکیج آفٹر ایوری ایٹ ٹو ٹین گلائکوزائڈک ریزیڈیوز دیئر از اے برانچ میکنگ الفا ون سکس glycosidic linkage which give glycogen a tree like structure alpha 14 glycosidic linkage forms a straight chain of glucose in glycogen alpha 16 glycosidic linkage joins the two straight chains with with each other forming a branch liver glycogen can maintain the blood glucose level up to 10 to 18 hours in the absence of dietary intake of carbohydrates function of glycogen are discussed now glycogenesis glycogenesis it is a synthesis of glycogen from glucose it occurs in the cytosol of liver and muscle cells it requires energy which is supplied by atp and utp for the phosphorylation of glucose steps of glycogenesis synthesis of udp glucose udp glucose is the source of the all the glycosidic residues added to the growing glycogen molecule udp glucose is synthesized from glucose 1 phosphate and utp by udp glucose phosphorylase pyrophosphate is released as a second product of the reaction synthesis of a primer to initiate glycogen synthesis the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of glycogen is glycosid synthase Glycogen synthase is responsible for the formation of alpha-1 for linkage of glycogen, but it cannot initiate the chain synthesis using free glucose. To synthesize glycogen, the enzyme must enter a primer, must need a primer to which glucose residues are added from UDP glucose. In a person whose glucose stores are not completely depleted, the primer could be a fragment of glycogen. In a person whose glycogen stores are completely depleted, a primer could be a specific protein called glycogen, which can serve as an acceptor of glucose residues. Transfer of the first residues of glucose from UDP glucose to the primer is catalyzed by glycogen initiator synthetase. <coughs> Elongation of glycogen chain. After the formation of glycosidic primer glycogen synthase makes alpha 14 linkage and starts forming glycogen chain by adding glucose residues from udp glucose to the non reducing end of the growing chain with the formation of every new alpha 14 linkage the udp is released and converted back to utp branch formation glycogen has branches which are located after every 8 to 10 glycosidic residues resulting in a highly branched tree like structure formation of branches is catalyzed by the action of the branching enzymes glycosidic glucosal 1416 transferase this enzyme transfers a chain of 5 to 8 glucosal residues from the non reducing end of the glycogen chain breaking alpha 14 linkage to another residues on the chain and attaches it by alpha 16 linkage the resultant new non reducing end as well as the old non reducing end from which the 5 to 8 residues were removed can now be further elongated by glycogen synthase after the elongation of these two ends has been accomplished by glycogen synthase the terminal 5 to 8 glycosal residues can again be removed and utilized to form further branches significance of branching branching makes glycogen more soluble it increases the non reducing ends of glycogen to which new glucosal residues can be added or removed branching greatly accelerates the rate at which glycogen synthesis or degradation can occur thank you very much